Ninjas. <laughs> We're here today and we are reviewing the Cargo Cosmetics Summer in the City palette. Yay! It's our first video, so here we go. Um, jumping right in, packaging. The box is so pretty and I wanted this to look like this. I thought this was really pretty. Um, but this is really nice as well. If you're into gold, shiny, it's kind of like a club clutch. You can go partying with it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I do just take show the palace to the club. It's high roll. I don't, I don't go clubbing <laughs> ever. <laughs> but it's but it is pretty. It's really eye catching. It's definitely fun to have if you like packaging. Um, like nice magnetic. Yeah, magnetic clutch. Yeah. All right, so we have a double-ended brush that comes with it as well as a eyeliner, which we're gonna carefully not drop everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> as far as the double-ended brush goes, we still have a plastic bugger on it. It has a bigger, fluffier blending edge and a smaller, more detailed edge. The smaller side is still fluffier if you have the Naked Cosmetics. Um, I guess it was the Naked 2, has the more fine, like thin brush on the end. Not explain my brushes very well, but whatever. This is fluffy. It is. It's fluffier. <laughs> it's the but same it's small size. enough to get under your waterline to get down the lower lashes. And it make a nice more blurred outline. And then yeah. this one is a great fluffy picks up a lot of products still on there. Just it's a good fluffy. all over brush. It's good for blending. It's um the bristles are a little bit longer than some of them, but it does pick up pretty well. Um when I first opened it it was shedding a little and it got a little on my nerves that it was shedding. Um, but I washed it once. It's not shedding anymore. It, me, the bristles are all, they lay out nicely. Um, I'll take a close-up photo for you, but it, it, I mean, it's a good quality brush. I mean, something, something I'm going to keep using, I'm going to enjoy having. The $34 palette. It's, it's nice to get yeah, a brush. <laughs> a double-ended brush. None yeah. of my palettes have brushes. Um, yeah, and then it came with a black cargo eyeliner, very basic eyeliner. Um, one of the pencils you have to sharpen. Um, I will say it's very black and very smooth. I don't know how well you can see that. We'll take a close up. The thing I would say about it that I don't love is that it blends out a lot and smudges a lot. And I'm one of those people who like touches their eyes constantly, which is terrible, but I do it. And this would get Gotta everywhere. Lock that shit down. <laughs> yeah, so I personally probably wouldn't be able to use this. I don't know about you. I would. Okay. I would use it and I would probably blend it out. Mm -hmm. Except in summer when I sweat and then I get like Mascara tears. Mascara tears. Yeah, yeah. Makeup crying, that whole blending raccoon eye thing. That's oh, a big thing for me. That's like me the everyday after work. <laughs> I just like Hello hooded eyes. <laughs> so fun. Panda Black. eyes. They're cute. Panda eyes. It yeah. sounds cuter than it is. <laughs> um, okay, so anyways, jumping right in. Let's see. Um, so this box, the one it came with, it actually has it laid out in quads right here so you can pick your little colors if you're not really good at pairing up your colors you can do that um, I went ahead and I did an eyeshadow look for you using these four and only these four shut your eyes very nice just realize I'm not wearing lipstick <laughs> sorry um, so anyways but and it does have a little list on here where you can do duos basically one two one two one two down the line because like this because if you're me and you get ready in five minutes that's your jam. I'm gonna say, oh, mom, I have hours to do this shit. <laughs> um, but, anyways, but I do like that. If you don't know what you're doing, if you're experimenting with different colors, um, you can kind of see I've been rubbing my arm on my sleeve on my shirt, so I'm kind of a mess. But you can see the colors are really different. Um, it, it does give you something to play with. So it does have in the packaging. It does have a really nice big mirror, which is really great if you're gonna travel with it. We'll get into that later, but if you're going to travel with it, it does have a nice mirror, it does give you, I mean, you can get your whole face pretty much in it, and definitely the whole span of your eyes, so that's, that's a plus. Um, so I got this on Birchbox, I used my points, I got this for free, I also got Anastasia Brow Wiz for free. Um, so that's, you know, if you do Birchbox, that's a great way to use your points. It's, as far as, you know, the cost, it's a $34 palette. It says it's a hundred and two dollar value. Everybody says that. It doesn't really mean anything. It costs you thirty four, so that's the value. Um, but for the cost, it's a really good palette. It's um, it's all shimmer, so it's not something I can just use by itself most of the time. Um, but we'll get into that in a little bit in a minute. But um, but it's it, available, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's available at Ulta, Birchbox, where we got and Kohl's. Um, not Yay. gonna find this at Sephora, so sorry. But, um, but Kohl's is easy for most people. In that's America. true. And sometimes you have really good deals there. So who knows? You might actually be able to pick this up on major sale later in the season. Yay! Who knows? It we'll is limited edition. See. So that's something, I mean, it probably won't be around for very long. Um, do you want it? Lock it down. Lock it down. <laughs> that should be our catchphrase today. 
lock that shit down. <laughs> um, as far as the shades go, they blend out really well. It took no effort. They blend out beautifully. Um, I did have Fallout with two of the colors, the Sunset, which is this gold color, and Chill, which is this purpley. It goes on a lot more plum. Um, it's a plum glitter bomb. Glitter bomb. Yeah, it, it's straight up glitter. It's really beautiful, though. It has like a silvery shimmer to it. Um, those two did have Fallout, but nothing crazy. Nothing like um, some of the Urban Cover Decay, I get a lot more Fallout, and I have the sexy panda eye. Um, uh, <laughs> because they're all shimmer, though, like I said, like, I'm not going to use this every day. I'm, it's probably when I'm going out, I'm partying, mom partying. Um, but I will use it over Shall the summer. Shall we get tea together? Tea! Yes, please! <laughs> what if we had, like, a hooker glitter eye tea party? That would be a lot of fun, right? Oh, uh, the so, little British ladies would hate us. <laughs> so, for the texture, um, it was a little weird because at the very beginning, it was actually, like, gritty. It has a gritty layer on top. Maybe it was just our palette. Who knows? Yes. But once you get under that, it's this beautiful, really, really soft, buttery, smooth, easily blendable, Honestly, I, mean, I think it was, like, softer than my Urban Decay Naked 2 mm -hmm. palette, which is, you know, super soft. This one is, like, I would, you just have to be careful. You could actually damage it if you just dab a brush in there like an idiot. Yeah. Sorry, no one's an idiot. Or um, a cheap brush. A cheap brush would probably Yeah, a cheap it. brush would probably do bad. And you can kind of tell where we were, like, not being careful and dabbing our fingers in there. <laughs> kind so, of the credit for swatching. It is actually a great texture, considering you're paying $34 <laughs> for... A lot of shades. Since I can yeah. count on camera, that's ten shades. Okay, <laughs> it's um, it's actually twelve. It's three sets of four. Three sets of twelve. I'm shades. trying to <laughs> shut up. Fun fact: I have a math minor. <laughs> <laughs> so that's less than six dollars per shade. If that counts free packaging, free brush. I mean, if you're in singles, like that's cheaper than like L'Oreal. A pretty good deal. It's cheaper than L'Oreal oh, using Ulta coupons. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, so it, it's a really good value. Um, I would definitely buy it again. I would. I'm really happy with it. I would probably keep buying other cargo eyeshadow palettes. It's my first cargo palette. I would definitely buy more. Um, it's the first cargo I've ever played with. Their first yay! product, and yeah, I, I liked it. I was pleasantly surprised. I don't know. I'm kind of like wary of it because there's that weird price point where it's not like it's, it seems like a whole special. Yeah, it seems to me, like I I was no. wrong. Yeah, I mean it is great. So if anyone else is in that like. <laughs> It's not quite. It's not Sephora. Decay. It's not Urban Decay. But the quality is really, really good. I mean, <laughs> price definitely doesn't, you know, take away from it. Um, one thing we notice is it's really similar when you swatch out the Cap on D Poetica palette. It has, um, and this one does not blend great. I, I picked this up at Marshall's. I think it was $10 because it was on sale. And I like it. Um, I never use it though because it, I mean, it does have the same, there's a copper here. And a copper here that actually are, like swatch out almost the same. The purples here, this one that looks like this purple glitter bomb, um, actually swatches almost the same as Chill. I'll do some comparison swatches and photos for you guys. Um, so the colors are actually kind of similar. This I find is not usable. It's just they're gritty. They're um, this one's really glitter, like gritty glitter bomb. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've used it a couple times. I definitely like the purple, and it's really pretty. Totally off topic, but I like it. Um, but this, I'll use. This, I could use colors from it daily. This is like, if I'm going, again, mom clubbing? I don't know where I'm thinking I'm going partying. I'm not going partying. I'm in bed at, like, 9 o'clock. Um, but, I mean, this I would use for partying or going out and doing, like, smoky eye. This I could use, I mean, it could be like, go smoke darker, darker, smokier with it. But this you could use daily. You could use it for daytime. You can definitely darken it up and use it for nighttime looks. Like rooftop and like probably this one would make a good like office day mm -hmm. look. Yeah. I mean, go easy yeah. on the shimmers in the office, but you know. <laughs> you know. Depends on the office. Depends <laughs> on what your boss says. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think it's a good palette. I would definitely buy it again. Yeah. Word. So I think overall, positive reviews. We're pleasantly surprised. Um, if you've tried it, let us know how you feel about it. Um, yeah, well, thank you guys so much, and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and see Yay! all the wonderful things we have coming for you. We'll do a lot more videos. This is just the first. There will be more. Um, bye. <laughs>